Hey guys, so welcome back. I'm gonna be working with Luna again. Um, this next video that I'm gonna show you guys is gonna be two parts. One is gonna be completely on leash, not only to work on her reactivity, but again, to continue showing her that even if she's on leash and there's other dogs around, she's still gonna be safe with me um, because I'm gonna get her out of that situation. And also because I, you know, obviously still want to have control over her just in case something were to happen and I need to get her out quick. While you're watching the video, please keep in mind that the dogs that I'm introducing her to, A, I'm very familiar with all of them. Um, the one female, her name is Darla. Luna has already met her before and she did really, really well with her. Um, and she has kind of met Lola before. Um, Lola is a puppy that I've been working with on and off since she was about 11 weeks old, so I'm very familiar with her, um, and same as her giant brother Hank. Um, I've been working with him a little bit since he was a baby as well, so I'm pretty confident in their reactions and how they're going to respond, so that's kind of why I feel comfortable doing the introductions with them. Um, and then the last dog, Samson, is just kind of a meatball. He doesn't really do much of anything. However, he does have a little bit of issues with personal boundaries. So while I'm confident that he would never hurt Luna, um, I do think that he might push her comfortability a little bit, which is okay because, again, um, we need to see those fearful behaviors in order to address them and in order to teach her how to respond appropriately. Um, you'll see in the first video when we're working on leash that her body language is very excited. She's very happy. Her tail is wagging most of the time. She's pretty confident. Um, and then when she gets less confident, you can see her retreating back to safety, which is beautiful. It's exactly what I want to see. That's her letting me know like, hey, this is a little too much. So I'm going to back off and give her a little bit more space and then reapproach once I see that body language settle back down and her get more comfortable. Um, then in the second video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep her on leash at first and I'm going to do like a small introduction like that. But the main reason why I'm going to keep her on leash first this time is because I want her, I want to show her where the other dog's boundary line is at. That way, um, once I do let her off the leash, she knows exactly where she needs to retreat to to get back to safety. So she doesn't feel like she's just stuck pinned in there with those other dogs. So I'm going to work her a little bit on the leash first, let her just get a little greeting, maybe get that bubbliness out of the way, um, and then I'm going to let her go and kind of see what she does. What I'm hoping to see is that she wants to go say hello to the other dogs, that her body language stays nice and calm. If at any point I see her getting like scared or whatever, I'm just going to call her over to me um, and reward her for being calm. Last night, also, I did have her out playing with Hershey. Uh, she was actually like running with him and chasing after the ball with him and stuff. They did excellent together, but I think it helps that both dogs have pretty strict boundaries. And so they really weren't pushing each other too much at all. Um, however, one thing that I do want you guys to pay attention to in the first video is where um, Luna is kind of in Hershey's face. She's really excited. Um, she's bubbly. Her tail is wagging. She's like in his face wanting to give him kisses and stuff. Um, and the reason why I want to bring this up is because you'll probably hear Hershey give her a real quick low like Rrr. and that's just him telling her like hey let's let's back up a little bit like let's not do this. Um, and the reason I wanted to bring this up is because a lot of times puppies do things that us as owners think is cute right like the like when they get real wiggly and they're all over the place and they're like licking another dog we think that's very cute behavior however to an adult dog that can be seen as an annoyance kind of the equivalent of like a little kid coming up and sitting in front of you like mommy 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 until you respond right it's annoying um, when like kids were to do that to us and it's the same sort of thing as when puppies are doing that to dogs, right? That's like them like, hey, 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 and the older dog is like, okay, chill. Um, <laughs> so I just wanted to bring that up because like while Hershey might not be reactive towards that and he really isn't going to give her much of a correction, other dogs will, right? Other dogs who are a lot more intense or maybe a little bit more aggressive, like that's the kind of behavior that they're gonna try to correct in a puppy because it's annoying to them, right? 
And if you have a dog that um, is already kind of known for overcorrecting or maybe having a little bit more of an aggressive attitude, then you definitely would not want to expose um, a dog like Luna to those type of dogs just yet. Um, she is getting a lot better about listening to proper escalation though, because even in the video you'll see as soon as her, she kind of backed up and gave her that little err, she backed right off, which is great. That's exactly what I want to see. She didn't try to escalate in any way. She was just like, okay, heard, I'm going to back up. Um, and that's exactly what we want. Okay. We're just reteaching her that escalation process and the communication. Um, and it's going really, really well. So here's hoping that the next lesson, uh, with her off leash with the other dogs will go well also. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, so we're back out here with Miss Luna. Um, today we're gonna do a little bit more of leash reactivity, um, AKA I'm gonna let her meet other dogs a little bit while she's on the leash. Um, because she hasn't met some of these dogs yet and I want her to be able to do so, but obviously I wanna be able to keep her safe. Good girl, Luna, good girl, good girl. Hershey, hey, hey, back up, Luna, good girl. So there was a really good one right there that we got to see between her and Hershey. Um, she was definitely a little nervous. Hey, Bruce, hey. Okay guys, so right there what you were seeing is me. I was just trying to get her a little bit more comfortable with the idea of saying hi to those other dogs by me saying hi to them first and letting her just kind of keep her distance if she wanted to. So let's bring her back over. Good girl. Good girl. 
Oh, good girl. Come on, Nina. Nope, not under. Not under, you go. Not under his legs, you go. You're okay. Come on, keep going. Good girl. Oh, so good. Good girl. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. Oh, you want to play, huh? Good girl. So nice. Good girl. Luna, good girl. Look at you letting him get his sniff. Good girl, Luna. That's a good girl letting him get some snips. Good girl. That's so nice. Yes, that's so nice of you to let him get some snips. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Oh, so happy. Look at that tail. So happy. Good girl. And Jordan, that was almost too much for me. Good girl. Good girl. Hello, oh, Ruby. Sorry, y'all. I just didn't know the bug. Yeah, you love Ruby, huh? There she is. Hey. 
Hey, she keeps saying she's not like that. Good girl. That was so nice. Good girl. Okay, guys, so as you can see, overall, her body, um, her body language around these other dogs is much, much more relaxed and better than it has been the last couple of days. She's actually getting excited to say hi to other dogs. She wants to say hello. She wants to greet them. Oh, she's letting other dogs get sniffs. Um, so thank you, Bruce. Um, so overall, like she is really, really coming a long way and she is really, um, really starting to kind of settle in around the other dogs, which is all wonderful things, all good. Um, let's see if we can get her to say hi one more time. Here, sweetheart. Mind saying hello? Good girl. Good girl. See, you can get your feet. Good girl. That was so good. Oh, I love that. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Hey, guys, I don't know if you saw that one. Um, but she went over and she was sniffing with husband and Hank right there and she got a little nervous. Um, but she didn't show her teeth, she didn't show her hackles. All she did was say, oh, I'm uncomfortable and she left. So that's exactly what I want to see. Good girl. Good girl. Want to try again? Want to see you go? Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Lena. Good girl. Good girl. It's okay. It's just getting some sniffs. It's okay. Good girl. Yeah. Hi, Lena. I know he's a big oaf, huh? I know he's a big oaf, huh? You're okay. Good girl. Good girl! Very nice! Look at you! I'm so proud of you, Looney! I'm so proud of you, Looney girl! Yes, you're so nice! So well, nice! Yeah. Good girl, you're okay! Good girl! Good girl, Luna. Yeah, he's just saying hi! Alright, hey, that's enough! She's the one she's drooling on her, buddy! Here's the one you're drooling on her, buddy. Huh? You want to say hi? Good girl. Oh, Luna, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. You want to say hi, girl? You're well. You're okay. You're okay. Good girl. You can say hi. See? You can say hi. You can be scared of. Huh? Yeah, good girl. So brave. Okay, guys, so I have Luna. As you can see, she's a little bubbly, a little excited. And even there, her, she just gave her a little, uh, I don't like that. I don't like it in my face. Obviously, some dogs are a lot better about it than others, like Bruce doesn't really care as much. It takes a lot more for him to be bothered. Mm -hmm. Good girl! Good girl! But even there, um, she let Hershey get some sniffs in. She's gonna shake off the stress. Good girl! And then she's gonna come back and say hello to some more. So, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take her over, let her do just a brief little intro with the other dog. You're okay! You're okay! Um, you can see she's definitely a little scared because she is peeing a little bit when Hershey gives her those corrections. Um, and as you can see, they're really, really mild corrections. He's just talking to her a little bit, giving her little grumbles, um, and then she's backing off. So that's great. That's exactly what we want to see. Um, I think the pee is more so because she hasn't, she didn't take a full pee first because um, I've never seen her do that before. Um, but now I'm going to work her over here. I'm going to bring her over, let her say hi to the other dogs on the leash. And as long as she does well, I'm going to go ahead and try and let her go. Um, again, I'm going to go ahead and walk around the boundary a little bit. That way she can see 
where she needs to retreat to to get back to safety. Um, that way I can redirect her if needed. One thing I want you to pay attention to is how close I'm staying during all of this playtime. At this stage, um, she really shouldn't be left unsupervised with other dogs at all. Um, obviously the dog that she lives with at home is a little bit different situation, but as far as like new dogs um, or even just, you know, dogs where she's familiar but not super super familiar we're going to want to be supervising all of these interactions that way we can guarantee that they're good ones so go training she seems to have like calmed down quite a bit already so as you can see she's not getting nearly as bubbly or excited or getting in Hershey's face she is giving him some little sniffs but they're nice good girl good girl good girl look at you there you go just pull your butt away huh yeah just pull your butt away oh no thank you no thank you hey 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 so as you can see, Hershey is even a vocal choir. He likes to talk a lot, he likes to do a lot of stuff. Um, but there's nothing in either one of their body languages that would tell me that, hey, She obviously really wants to play, um, but she's just still trying to figure out those safe boundaries. But she's learning that if she does get a little bit nervous, she can just come back to us and it's going to be okay. But she obviously wants to play. Um, so I'm going to let her off um, for a second. And I'm going to grab my treats. And when I grab my treats, I want you to also notice how I'm going to use her treat bag to shake it and jiggle it a little bit if I'm having trouble getting her attention back because sometimes the sound of those treats is more intense. Good girl! Good girl, Luna. Good girl. Okay, come in. Good girl. Good girl. So now I'm going to work her back over there, closer to the other side. You could see she got a little bit nervous, so then she just retreated back to her safe space, um, and then she was all good. So let's, let's try again.
She did get a little bit more nervous with Hank, um, just because he's a big old oaf, and he was a little bit more in her space. I'm going to try and adjust this a little bit more so we have more of the yard. Good girl, Luna. You're okay. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. See that big mean Hank won't leave me alone. That big mean Hank won't leave me alone. All right, guys. So on that one, she did issue Hank a real quick, easy correction. Um, however, I want you to keep in mind that Hank is only a year old. Um, he's still very much a puppy himself. So that I know. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so there's some stuff that Hank still hasn't quite learned yet either. Um, so honestly, like her issuing him that little correction, I'm perfectly okay with that because she had tried to get away from him. She kind of you know, she did her due diligence. She tried to get away. He kept pursuing. Um, and dogs are going to need correction sometimes. So that level of correction that she gave Hank, I am perfectly okay with because she still needs to be able to communicate that, especially when she's dealing with a dog that's much, much larger than her. Um, and as you could see, as soon as she issued that little correction, Hank backed off and I was able to pull her away. So, um, even though sometimes those little nips and stuff can be scary, please remember that they are natural dog communication. And she had already tried. That was the proper form of escalation that she did right there. And she didn't overcorrect. She didn't keep going after him. That's what we want to see. Good girl. Come on. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna end this lesson right now. Um, she's definitely starting, um, I would say with Hank, that was like the most afraid that she's been so far. Um, and she definitely, um, you could see she was trying to retreat to go back to her, quick. She was trying to retreat to go back to her um, safe space which she has learned is like either the pool or her kennel. Um, so since she is trying to tell me that she's a little bit getting a little bit overwhelmed, um, I'm not going to ignore that. And I'm just going to go ahead and put her up. I'll feed her breakfast. Um, and we're going to end this on a positive note.
I know. I know. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon. All right, ah, 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 Bruce. No, sir. Hey, you're okay. That's just the mailman. Good girl. Good girl. All right, that's enough, use. That's enough. Good girl. Hey guys, really quick before I end the video, I just want to point out that the little play session that I included at the end there, um, obviously she was a little bit overstimulated. Her, she might have been a little bit overstimulated too, and they were playing and. The reason why I decided to end it when I did is because you could see that she was progressively getting a little bit less confident in like the play style and especially when it was both Bruce and Hershey trying to play with her simultaneously and then Bruce like trying to do like the little mount thing. Um, so I just went ahead and ended it. That way we could end that play session on a really positive note. Um, and we weren't ending it because she was like completely stricken by fear or anything like that. So, um, that's another important thing that I wanted to touch on is that even when you are supervising playtime, the most important thing to remember when you are supervising that is that you're ending it on a positive note. Um, obviously I'm not going to leave her in that situation until she starts to get as until she has to continue escalating to get them to kind of like not play anymore. Um, so I just went ahead and ended it and then I put her up for breakfast and um, yeah, so we'll get her back out again later. That way she can kind of have some more play time with them. Um, but overall, she did really, really well today. I love to see her like retreating and put that space between her and other dogs. Um, and she's getting a lot better at communicating her boundaries and letting me know when she's uncomfortable. So overall she's doing really really well and i could not be more excited about the progress that she's making um and obviously if you guys have any questions about anything um or even just kind of wondering why i allowed certain things please just let me know um, and i'm happy to answer any of those questions for you but i hope you guys have a great rest of your day